This is the newer Vessel 3-speed electric screwdriver. I replaced the existing ball bearings and the thrust bearing with G100 precision ball bearings. I replaced the bushing on the end with a roller bearing. Did I fix it? Not really. When I put pressure on the end, it doesn't seem as bad. It seems improved that way when I put pressure on the end, but when it free spins, at times there's just a lot of sloppiness in the mechanism. I already made a teardown video of this. As I was making the teardown video, I was getting some of these ideas. I didn't know if I would do it. I decided to try it. I'll show you what I did. This red plastic piece, looks all mangled up, cracked, because I had to drill that out to 14 millimeters. So when I replace this bushing with a roller bearing, you've got a 10 millimeter internal diameter, but now you're out to 14 millimeters instead of 11 millimeters. And that process got a little messy, but there is now a roller bearing in here. The other thing that I did was, in the thrust bearing, I removed the existing BBs. I was suspicious of the thrust bearing. I thought, if a few BBs in there that are a larger diameter than the rest, that's going to cause a wobble in the thrust bearing. So I removed the existing BBs, and I bought some G100 precision grade BBs off Amazon. Ball bearing balls, or BBs, have grades. So I'm now about here, G100, for tolerances and specs. I don't know where it was before. You know, the existing BBs definitely were not up here. I don't know if maybe they were the same or a little bit less. I don't know. I don't know what they were. At least now I know that I have 2.5 millimeter grade 100 BBs in the thrust bearing. And I think that that did make a difference. When I push the down on the thrust bearing now, it seems like there's a lot less wobble. When I don't push on the thrust bearing, I don't know that I really removed that much of the sloppiness in the, in the head of it. Maybe a little bit. The advice that I would give myself in the past is, don't mess around drilling out plastic to put in a roller bearing. You, you gain very little from doing that. Probably there was more gained by taking this apart, replacing the BBs with higher precision BBs. I'm going to put some black electrical tape on this to kind of cover up the embarrassment of mangling this up, but I'm still going to use it. And if I didn't mention it before, so here's an E6. You know, that's not bad. For some reason, the C6 fit way down inside. And for whatever reason, they tend to wobble the most. It's definitely best with a 13 millimeter Japanese bit in it with downforce. So with downforce, It seems improved. So this video is just my report on my attempt to $6 million man this Vessel electric screwdriver. Is it better, stronger, faster? Uh, maybe a little bit better. Definitely not stronger. Definitely not faster. So those were the results of my modifications. Thank you for watching.